What's up guys, Scully here from Blue Cooking Family, welcome back to a vault tutorial. Now, in this one I know, um, I'm going back to an old uh, tutorial I did uh, a couple of years ago when my channel first started up. So we're looking at um, missile defences. So I've got two methods, I've got the EMP and also the anti-ballistic missile. Now, um, a couple of things have changed since the last one, a couple of things haven't and people are getting confused by um, different cosmetics and different th things what have changed and also I had a couple of comments saying oh it's not working um, so I'm just going to go back over it again just to lighten things up and make sure it works so this is the new radar station now the old one you might remember it was a giant dish and I, pref I preferred the old one it looked really cool but so now it's more of a, like a little portal laptop thing with little spinning thing in the top corner. I'm not too sure what to think of it, but it still works very much the same. So you can see in here that we have, you know, a radar station over there, and you've got myself, an EMP tower. So you've got you can see Scotty, an EMP tower, and also the uh, radar station in the top there somewhere, but I don't think you'll be able to see that. No, but oh well, I'll show you where the other radar station is quickly. So the other radar station is in here, there. So that's what we're picking up. So it can do quite a dis distance on this. So you can see if anyone's set up radar stations or EMP towers near your base. So you can see there. So it's quite a cool concept. So if you're looking at this, it'd probably be that way around. So looking at it this way, that's where the map goes. Okay. It's quite strange. It's quite a strange setup on how it is, but okay, that's fine. So the EMP tower hasn't changed at all. Um, you see, I have an EMP radius of a number of blocks, but um, I can't remember if this was in the last one. But EMP affects missiles, electricity, or both. So I first set it to missiles. So unless you want it to upset all electrics and turn off modules and turn off your radar station, I was underline that slightly. It will turn off your radar station. Um, then set it to missiles. Okay, so please set it to missiles if you only if you're only doing missiles. Okay, so you see at the bottom it has voltage. Now I've got these on creative cell blocks, so you can see there. But these can be through any power source. Okay, so this requires one gigajoule, which is quite a lot of power. Okay, so that's one thousand megajoules. Um, you can get those from big reactors, which I'll be going over in a future tutorial, but it still has quite a lot of power and then the other thing I've got on here is the launcher system now, the launcher system hasn't changed so much at all you know still the same um, whatchamacallit still the same uh, setup and things I actually haven't powered this it's quite bad um, let me just get myself a creative energy cell here knock this off this on here, there you go. So now you can see missile silo is empty, but this is pretty much the same, it hasn't changed. You still have the support frame, the launcher thing, and the control panel, so that's still pretty much the same. Now, those people will also be commenting saying, My radar station doesn't work, it doesn't give out a redstone thing, and my base got blown up. Yes, that is what they sound like, but no. Um, they what you need to do is you need to surround the radar with redstone. Now, it does. Now I've tested a few things. It can be a little bit funny with um, other mod um, uh, redstone. So what I mean by that, it can be funny with anything like redstone paste, or if you're using uh, Project Red. I've got to find it now. I've probably gone past it. Yes, uh, there it is. Project Red transmission. So these it can be a little bit funny. Um, so please, just for simplicity, use redstone just place it on, res on old fashioned redstone and then from then on so in these bits you can use the new bits so that's absolutely fine but this bit hasn't changed so you've got a frequency I'm still looking into what that is it might match the frequency of that you can set missiles and things too so um, I still yet to play around whether you can launch from here I'm not too sure you also have a safe zone and an alarm zone so alarm zone is where it will send off the thing safe zone is within the area it is um, but the alarm zone so you set those to a quite a decent radius so the alarm zone is the one where you've got um, you want to basically set a bigger circle and your safe zone would be a smaller circle okay so you set those like that 
and then pretty much it. Okay, so let me just show you off how VMP works. So VMP, so yeah, VMP basically once it receives a redstone input, so you can trigger these manually. So if you see a missile come in, you can trigger it manually by a button or a lever or something like that. But over here, I've got a setup of a missile. Now this is a chemical. No, this isn't a chemical missile. This is an incendiary missile. So this will cause a lot of fire and damage. And you'll see on the floor, I've got a uh, remote control just to launch it, so I can be over here. So when you know when it's triggered, because you'll hear a loud noise. But also be looking out for the redstone there to light up, and also the loud noise. So we'll fire this. can be a bit funny sometimes. So firing. There we go. So that can be a bit funny. But so watch for redstone. That's the noise. That means it's triggered. Now I don't see any missile. Which means it hasn't landed and it's been destroyed in the air. Okay? So where the old system used to be able to get the missile back you still can in this one. So, um, of the last missile I fired, I couldn't find it, so I assume that they've changed it, but obviously not. So you can still pick up the missile once it's been launched, so it's on the floor. It's quite cool. So now, let me show you the anti-ballistic missile. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is going to have enough room to actually do its thing. I might have to relocate the other launcher. But, this works in a similar way. Now, I suggest setting the alarm radius slightly larger for this one, so you can get more time in the air. Let's just do that now. I've just noticed the textures are a little bit funny from the bottom. That's okay. So we'll double this. So this is now 20. And this could be 60. Okay. So now let's launch this one. Come on. There we go. So. Okay, I forgot to turn off this. So, now for some reason this did not launch at all. I don't know why. Okay, so now hopefully this should go. So I'll reset that. I forgot to turn off the uh, EMP, sorry. Uh, so you can see it's come up quite a, quite a way. Come on. There we go, so it's off. Now, this is not launching. Now it does. Okay, so I'll talk you through the error there because I know what the error is. It's the safe zone. So let's set the safe zone slightly further, so 60. Okay, so you have an alarm and you've got a safe zone. So the alarm affects an EMP, the safe zone affects the anti ballistic missile. So let's put that in there and let's see if this is correct. So if you set it to that, it would have failed. And I've got a hole. Oh, right, okay, that's where the anti ballistic missile probably landed, I think. I don't know, that's quite a strange one. Come on, fire. Thank you. This is still throwing me. So, this is still really bizarre, and I don't know why it's not liking it. So, let's, for simplicity, let's move this all out of the way. So, I'll move this over to the other side. Just so that we can get a distance, and it might be the distance thing. So if it's too close, the anti-ballistic mi anti missile does not work. Which would be a shame. But, if that's the way, then that's the way. So I have tested this in the past, and it has worked. So it just literally doesn't want to perform on the video standard. Okay. So I also need to set where it's landing. So I'll grab one of these. Set my radar. 
over here. Set it to that distance. And I'll just send it to this. Like here. And then let's fire this. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, did I put a ballistic missile in? I don't think I did. No, I haven't. That would have been quite catastrophic. Catastrophic again. So, let's fire this again. There we go. Fired. Now, if this doesn't work, then I'm pretty sure it's a bug because everything's set up right. Interesting. So, I don't think that's correct. So let's, okay. Let's change this all to 100. Okay. So it seems to be doing better, but that's still not how I wanted it. So I'll give it one more go before um, I say, nope, not working. And please comment in the comment section below on why it hasn't worked and why it should have done. But as you can see, my favourite here is the EMP, because every time I've tested it, and even in the video, it's worked. Here we go. So that's it guys, so you need to reset the um, safe area to back to 100, because that's where it should be, so that's the safe zone. So, sorry for the bit in the middle of that and why it didn't work, but that's me derping out. So please follow this tutorial if you'd like to defend your base, and I'd love to see um, your makes of this and see how well you do. So, I've been Scully from Blue Curtain Family, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.